Dear Brooke and Brandon, if my calculations are correct, you will receive this message immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. First, let me assure you that I am alive and well. I've been living happily these past six days in the year 1885. All right, just kidding. I've been sick at home. Anyway, I couldn't miss the opportunity to wish you both uh, congratulations on your most important day. So cheers to you, Brooke, Brandon, and to my nephew, Bruce, and to the brightest future imaginable. Love you all, Sean. And transmission. Brooke, she came into my life in 2014-ish as an assistant editor. Her eyes filled with passion and desire to become a professional in the industry. And me and Jason Piccioni took one look at her and said, two weeks, a month, maybe. Before we knew it, you know, she rose the ranks and became uh, associate producer, producer. From donuts in the morning to after work beers, Brooke's leadership is inspiring. She's determined and motivated. And that determination and motivation are qualities Brandon also has in spades. When she introduced me to Brandon, she said he was a solid maybe. <laughs> now that I know you a little bit better, I think you got potential. <laughs> He's one of the greatest guys on earth. So caring, so thoughtful, perfect jawline, piercing eyes. He's like an all-you-can-eat man buffet. Brooke and Brandon's sense of humor is a place where I really see their relationship come to life. Their eyes shine, their faces glow, at the faintest whiff of a poop, dick, or fart joke. No opportunity for a rude witticism gets by them, not one. It touches them in a deep place. And that aspect of love is worth celebrating. When two weirdos find each other, Weirdos that I'm honored to call the closest of friends. Brandon, you truly are a kind human being, and you're really special in a town like this, and especially in our chosen industry. No matter the gig, position, you treat everyone with kindness. You've got the biggest heart and the most sincere smile. To find someone as special as you, out of all the people in this world, is something I never imagined. You will forever be my best friend. I promise to love you unconditionally and to spread my love to every member of your family as you have consistently for the entire Nazca family. I promise to never stop sending you an absurd amount of eggplant emojis. <laughs> I vow to always be your greatest cheerleader no matter how many times your name crosses the screen, no matter how many Emmys you might win, and especially no matter how many times you finish last in a triathlon. <laughs> every time. Every time. As I give you my heart today, I know we will indubitably grow gray and old. So above all else, I vow to never give you up, never let you down, <laughs> never run around or desert you. I'm never gonna make you cry. I'm never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I love you, Brandon James Dixon, forever. Mm -hmm.